everyone so i am back with amateur mechanic gameplay and i spawned in a church in red church this is a rink match um so you see there i automatically put my bot away and hide it um i knew the hunter spawned in graveyard um i thought he was already like mid back gate um but unfortunately he wasn't um i was trying to trans transition into graveyard but he was still there so it is a wuchang white form so he has not teleported he still has teleport um and i take that hit because white range wuchang is annoying so i know he still has that teleport option and he used it right here um i thought i had enough time um to get to the pallet i thought his reaction was not going to be fast enough but it was so i got cheered still at five ciphers but my bot is still out um merc's cipher is only halfway i died near magician's cipher it's not the best um spot right now um if i do get rescued i have to kite way longer um and so the magician uses his wand and he rescues me without tide it's fine um i'm just trying to kite at this point and he missed his bell so i'm just gonna keep looping um with mechanic you just have to mind game and respect pallets um wu changs in blue f and black form sorry especially just like to go through pallets um once they bell you but i'm just trying to go trying to trying to go leave magician cypher um we broke that pallet they have fast pallet breaking speed Painter takes a hit, um, I guess he's trying to get a painting. Um, here, you, I should just stay at this spot. He either teleports or stays in black form. And so I'm able to jump this pallet and he does not have blinks, so I am okay for right now. And everyone's healing right now and um, so that means I have to live a bit longer and Wu Chang is not like a hard hunter to kite but with mechanic it's a little bit different because she's really slow. Um, Painter puts a painting down but I still go down because this game loves me. Um, at least he tried to help me out which is nice. Um, you know I appreciate when teammates try to help me but if there's like a lot of decoding still left to do I mean I would prefer them to decode, at least take a tie or something, but they're trying to win. I, like, the, everyone's trying to win. So there's still three servers left. I'm decoding one. Um, so I had to do my best to decode and kite at the same time. Because I don't think there's going to be enough time to for everyone to go to my cipher. So I'm just staying here. He's fully fed. Um, so if he would change the block form, I'm basically dead. I don't know why he didn't switch forms but okay i'm still living um so there's two ciphers left i think i popped my cipher yeah so my bot popped the cipher um i'm uh, i have palette boost so that was good for me because he's in black form and since there's only one cipher left um he's trying to go and kill someone else because that's what he needs to do right now like his focus is to try to kill everyone off um and since they died by the cypher you know there's a chance that he could win um but i am gone i'm currently healing myself with my bot at church mercenary is down um painter is at least uh fully healed and he's cheering mercenary so i'm healed and i'm putting my bot to the to the gate because there's no there's not enough juice to start decoding another cipher so mercenary um he he used to self-heal so he's running away from the cipher which is fine um we have to decode either a new cipher 
or finish that cipher. And usually at end game, we like to have two ciphers in the situation, just so one is like a distraction while someone else decodes. And you see, I'm decoding another cipher on the other side of the map. I thought Magician was decoding the other cipher, but he's actually looking into a chest. Um, that's fine, but I do have slow decoding, so it's not the best situation uh, for to allow a, de uh, a mechanic to decode. Oh my god, I can't speak. Um, I was going to save because I thought Magician was at the cipher, but he's not. He's right next to the chair. Um, like I said, I have slow decoding. It's either I trust Magician to save Painter or I go save him, but Mercenary you self heal, so I have to heal him up because he's just on the ground and that's not the best situation. Um, Painter goes down again, but I, I have enough time because it's Painter to go rescue him. And I just have to trust my teammates to decode. Um, they should know what they need to do. And, or either um, create a distraction. And you see here that the hunter teleported to the mercenary. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is not rescue right away because I know Magician is decoding another cipher and it's not primed. And so I don't want to risk the hunter teleporting to either the cypher um, or the chair. Oh, I'm sorry, the chair. And um, since it's the second time on chair, I don't want to um, risk taking a tie or losing. And I'll just wait a little bit um, until the cypher is a bit uh, closer to being primed. And you see it's 84%, so that's like enough time. And the hunter teleports to the wrong cipher. Um, we have another cipher that's primed. So it looks like a win and they just prime it. And the hunter seems to go AFK. Um, I don't know what happened. Um, opening the gate with my doll. Um, so I'm showing this match, you know, it there was a lot of teamwork involved and you know, I appreciate my teammates, uh, you know, saving me and body blocking for me um this was a good match with good teammates so nice well done um it just wasn't me it was a full team effort and so this is another match also in red church um i believe i have like the same spawn yeah kind of similar so i dropped my doll at the same spot um trying to go to graveyard again i'm waiting a little bit more this time um it is the geisha but she spawned top broken and so I'm leaving, but I didn't hide my doll yet, but it's just out in the open. So yeah, free hit right there. Um, I'm just trying to transition, but I'm already at graveyard, so she has to come and find me. i um, trying to not leave a trail, but it's a geisha. The geishas, they always look everywhere, and I really hate geishas because their hitbox are ridiculous. So luckily I was able to take out my bot in time for a body block um but it's geisha i hate geisha because her hitbox is just really dumb um so with geisha you know you just want to take her butterflies away but she had another one so i get here and i um trap myself with the environment not good uh kite starting off um so i kind of like fucked myself over but i'm just gonna go with it um of course, she's kind of trying to use a butterfly, I take it. Um, I did a bad job of trying to skill check her. Um, you see, it was a not a good kite, still five servers left. It's up to them if they want to rescue me or not. Um, you see another one cypher pop. So it was a decent waste of time of her um, getting to... For her killing my bot. What I'm trying to say, oh my god. Um, so mercenary's middle, so I guess, you know, it's up to him. So he does come and rescue. Um, this chair is decent. There's a pallet that I can abuse and um, kind of loop with geisha. But geishas tend to like to dash 
and go through palettes. So I have a little palette boost here and I've had it only 60 seconds, still three ciphers left. Um, at this point I should have looped better because um, I'm about to get down here because you know geishas they know your pattern they start to know your pattern um, so I try to leave and stop looping maybe I should have more maybe I should have tried a palette stun I hate her hitbox a lot so I don't try to palette stun a geisha with mechanic because it's ridiculous and the batter um, rescues me off the loop but I still get down because mechanic is very slow um, that's the thing with mechanic you know you have to have good game sense or know how she works to have a decent kite you know she's not meant to kite she's meant to decode but hunters want to kill the decoder first because they want to stop that crush so um it's fine uh we're at a good spot there's one cypher left so it's up to what the hunter wants to do and she teleports to the cypher so the batter gets a free rescue and at this point i think the hunter messes up on her part because i now have time to get away um she doesn't go after me she stays at the cypher it's not even primed yet uh, so I have time to get away. And at this point, what everyone should do if they're dead on chair is to get away from all ciphers. Get away from the last cipher, get away from any cipher. What you want to do is get healed right away. So if your character can look through chests, look through a chest. That's what I'm doing right here. Um, you want to find a syringe. That's the best option. Or you want your teammates to heal you. Um, do not touch any cypher. Um, with Red Church, you can touch the walls to not get any crows. Um, but don't touch any cyphers. You are not to decode, especially in small maps where the hunter can easily um, go from across the map. Um, but you know, hunters can switch to jump trump card or they have teleport or it's like a blood queen, Wu Chang, um, Dream Witch, Breaking Wheel, whatever, where they can go across the map easily. Even Geisha. Geisha can fly across the map easily. But um, your your role right now is to not touch any ciphers. You can heal all your teammates if you want, um, but don't go near any ciphers. Just ping where you are if you want. Um, let your teammates go to you. Um, but in the last match, you know, I did heal myself. And I did go to the code, um, but in situations um, like that, it's because the other cipher was like almost primed. Um, this one wasn't primed yet. Well, this one is now, but um, the cipher I was at in the other match, it was where it was a place where I can kite. Um, but. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is, usually you should not um, do that, um, unless you know for sure. You you have to read the situation, I guess. But usually, do at least do not do not um, decode ciphers if you're injured and you're dead on chair. At least do not do that. At least um, you know if you have optics, like if you're a priestess. Um, or like maybe have a second owl, maybe you can uh, decode, but it's best not to. Just heal everyone, um, don't let the hunter see you, and so yeah, the mercenary died near the gate. So what I'm trying to do is not let myself be seen, because I am a, a mechanic with Tide, I do carry Tide. Um, I always carry Tide now. I don't change it if there's like two rescuers. I just always carry Tide with me because you never know. Um, and she has shit vaulting speed anyway, so I don't think it's gonna work anyway. So um, at this point, I see the batter is not in the gates, and I'm hoping like he does not die because um, at least wanna have a tie and he goes to rescue the mercenary. Um, so I'm not leaving yet. I want to see what the geisha does. Um, she both of them, she chairs one of them. Um, detention's almost over. 
so I can rescue um, if she chose them nearby. Um, she's going after the batter. The batter's still not at the, not at the gate. So it's kind of a tough situation and she still has detection. But I'm not leaving yet. Um, luckily she did not go to the gate. She still has tinnitus. I don't know if she knows where I am. But detention's almost over. I'm not leaving the gate yet. I'm about to leave the gate. I just want the batter to heal himself first. I'm not going to heal the batter because I don't want her to hit me. Um, not just yet. I'm trying to stall a little bit of time so the batter can heal himself and he can go to the gate. Um, but she does hit me so I'm leaving. And she she dashes to batter. Um, I try to body block for him. Luckily she did not pick him up yet. And we win.